and I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. Today we are talking about the Colorado River. We will be doing the final report here on January 31st as we are exiting the first month of the new year and we are moving into February starting tomorrow. And while we have a ton of precipitation possibly coming to the area, our favorite lakes, Flaming Gourd, Blue Mesa, Lake Navajo, Lake Powell, Lake Mead, Lake Mojave, and of course, last but not least, Lake Havasu. So we'll be getting on to it as we roll out to windy.com. You can see that there's going to be a ton of precipitation for Lake Navajo area. You're talking about 3.88 inches of rain equivalent and I'm sure this is new snow and of course it is. We're looking at possibly 38 inches possibly coming to that area. Now is the GFS agreeing? Not quite as much. 21 inches so we'll go with the lesser tonight because I just think that's more realistic of what could possibly happen but you could see all the way down here there the gfs is even calling for las vegas to possibly get two and a half inches of snow it's been known to happen this time of year so we will see wouldn't that be something crazy during the super bowl if they got some snow that would be really bizarre sapa 13.6 we go over to page 4.7 canab 15.2 cedar city 16.7 we go over to st george you can see they're going to get right around eight inches possibly we come over to tell you ride and tell you right is calling for 22.9 we go over to cortez you're talking about 15.61s we go down to farmington new mexico and 5.3 come down to flagstaff which is still part of the colorado river 19.6 we come up here to the beginning of the green river and you can see they're going to get a ton of precipitation 12.9 so this is all possibly good news here grand junction over here 12.4 vale 11.9 and of course if we go to the european they're calling for right around the same amount so we'll see what ultimately happens this could be possibly good you, of course we talked about california last night and news for the people out there lake oroville did start releasing water this morning 6,000 cfs and they finally got their water levels back up and running so that's good news so we'll be talking about that maybe tomorrow night we'll have to see friday night i'm out i got things going on but maybe saturday one of the two either tomorrow or saturday we will see and that that is what's going on here. My friends down in Havasu, you are lucky. We'll go back to the GFS. No snow for you guys. You guys will luck out this time. So good for you. And we are going to go out to Flaming Gorge first. As we roll out to the Flaming Gorge, you can see that the current water level is 6,026.41 feet, and that was Wednesday, January 31st, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 20.59 feet below full pool of 6,047. Changes since yesterday, even though it shows an up arrow, the lake is even steven. We go to the last seven days, and the lake is down 1.51 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is also down 0.46 feet we go over the last 30 days and you can see that the lake is down 1.22 feet over the last 120 days the lake is also down 1.51 feet so nothing crazy at flaming gorge it's down but not not a whole lot especially for the last six months however over the last year the lake is up 19.16 feet from that heavy snowpack that we had earlier in the year so that is fantastic news inflows are currently 1300 your outflows are 1267 and we go out to your graph here and you in 2022, the level was 6,017.75. 2023, the level was 6,007.25. In 2024, the level was 6,026.41 feet. Inactive pools 5,871, and your dead pools 5,740. And not to be redundant, I will not be talking about the record highs or the record lows tonight. So, percentage of capacity, we are currently looking at 83.12%. We'll be going to blue mesa next as we roll out to blue mesa the current water level 7488.85 feet and that was on wednesday january 31st 2024 at 7 p.m the level is 30.15 feet below full pool of 7519 changes since yesterday the lake is down 0.14 feet over the last seven days the lake is down 1.98 feet over the last 14 days blue mesa is down 0.57 feet over the last 14 days over the 
last 30 days, the lake is down 1.42 feet. Over the last 120 days, the lake is down 1.90 feet. And over the last year, the lake is up 41.44 feet. Your inflows are currently 79 and your outflows are 623. So they're releasing quite a bit of water currently. Let's go out to the bar graph. In 2022, the level was 7,435.62. In 2023, the level was 7,447.41 feet. Last year, we were looking at 7,488.85 feet, and your dead pool is 7,358 feet. Percentage of capacity is currently 68.56%. And let's go to Lake Navajo next. As we roll down to Lake Navajo, you can see that the current water level is 6,042.74 feet. And that was Wednesday, January 31st, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 42.26 feet below full pool of 6,085. Changes since yesterday, as before, the lake is not up or down. It's at zero, so that's where we stand over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 1.02 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is also down 0.39 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 0.94 feet. 120 days, the lake is down 2.07 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 24.65 feet. Your inflows are currently 345 and your outflows are 336. For your bar graph here, in 2022, we are looking at 6,019.52 feet. Last year, we were looking at 6,018.09 feet. Of course, today we are at 6,042.74 feet. Your dead pool is currently 5,775. Percentage of capacity is currently 64.26%. So we are down to Lake Powell next. As we roll out to Lake Powell, your current water level is 3,564.98 feet. And that was on Wednesday, January 31st, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 135.02 feet below full pool of 3,700. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.10 feet. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 4.42 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is only down 1.66 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 2.34 feet. So it has come up a little bit and gone down in the last 30, but overall it's trending downward. Over the last 120 days, the lake's only down 3.69 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 41.42 feet. Your inflows are currently 7,300 with your outflows 11,198. We go out to your bar graph. 3,531.75 was your 2022 level. Last year we were looking at 3,523.56 feet. And of course today we're looking at 3,564. Inactive pools 3,490. Your dead pools 3,370. The only time we will talk about these records highs or lows when we get really close to them but they'll be here for reference for anybody that wants to pause the videos and watch and percentage of capacity is currently 33.49 percent down to lake mead we go next as we roll out to Lake Mead, you can see that the current water level is 1,072.66 feet. And that was Wednesday, January 31st, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 146.94 feet below full pool of 1,219.60 feet. Lake Mead is up 0.17 feet over the last 24 hours. Lake Mead is also up 4.89 feet over the last seven days. That's pretty incredible, really. Over the last 14 days, Lake's only up 2 2.26 feet over the last 30 days the lake is up 4.48 feet and over the last 120 days the lake's up around three foot over the last year the lake is up 25.69 feet your inflows are currently 13,193 that's pretty good your outflows are 4,012 as we roll out to the bar graph, you can see in 2022, the level was 1,067.09 feet. Last year, we were looking at 1,046.97 feet. And of course, today we're already up to 1,072. So we are five feet higher than we were last year at this time. That's pretty good. And active pools 950, dead pools 895. And we go out to percentage of capacity for Lake Mead. And we're looking at 36.32% down to Lake Mojave. We go next. 
As we roll out to Lake Mojave, the current water level is 641.82 feet, and that was Wednesday, January 31st, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 5.18 feet below a full pool of 647. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.13 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is up 2.53 feet over the last 7 days. The lake is up 0.84 feet over the last 14 days. The lake is also up 1.49 feet over the last 30 days and over the last 120 days the lake is up 3.97 feet and over the last year the lake is down 0.30 feet inflows are currently 3630 and your outflows are 4364 we go to the bar graph in 2022 the level was 641.60 feet last year we were looking at 642.12 feet and of course today we're at 641.82 feet your dead pool level is 533 feet Percentage of capacity 92.28%. Down to the final stop tonight. My favorite stop, my favorite place amongst all the lakes, Lake Havasu. As we roll out to Lake Havasu, the current water level is 449.01 feet. And that was Wednesday, January 31st, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 0.99 feet below full pool of 450. So we we're really close to the top there. Lake Havasu is up 0.71 feet over the last 24 hours. Lake Havasu is also up 1.38 feet over the last 7 days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 2.25 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 1.09 feet. However, over the last 120 days, the lake is down 0.20 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 1.87 feet. Inflows are currently 4,410 feet. Your outflows are 1,810. We go to the bar graph, and you can see that Lake Havasu's level is 446.38 feet in 2022. Last year we were looking at 447.14 feet and we are really close to the top. We are less than a foot away. That's rare. I haven't seen that very often here. It's only two foot away from the record high ever there. We're at 449.01 feet. Inactive pools 440. Dead pools 400. And full pools 450. So you could see that we are fairly high for a change. It's really high. If my friend Supercharge could verify that, that would be awesome. And that's all I have for tonight thank you guys for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video my percentage of capacity can't be right it says it's 94.58 percent i'm gonna have to look into that something is not right along those numbers so i will be checking that out you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one god bless